What's up, Bibu Media? Enzo from Enzo Drones. I got a little package for you coming from San Diego. Wait, Enzo, what is this, man? What is this? Thank you. Hello guys, how are you today? This is Hamoudi from Bilo Media and today together with Enzo Drones we are gonna build this beauty. Uh, actually today it will be an unboxing and the frame build and in another episode it will be this, the full build of this amazing drone. It's really different than uh, what you saw before and it has really smart uh, features that I didn't saw before in any drones. So let's uh, get into the box and see what you have inside. So you see here the logo Enzo Drone San Diego, California. Mine is the Tiffany blue, but you can uh, get it with uh, four different colors, I think, five in total, I think. And uh, from December, uh, we are in December now, but from later December, I think he will uh, sell only the frame and ST file, STL files, so you can print your own, which is really great. So here we have a card, thank you, thank you Enzo, and an instruction manual. And here we have the upper, uh, upper part of the frame. I have three colors because uh, I want to do a short with the uh, switching colors. So this is why he sent me uh, more than one. And here you see this is the upper frame and here you put the camera. In our case we will put the O3 uh, camera but if you have a smaller camera he has an adapter here and if you want to put uh, the O3 you, you can put it here and this will be something like this and you can adjust the angle slightly and this one closes like this which is really nice and here you have a vent vent it's called vent so basically the air flows from here for better uh, aerodynamics and here down you have a cutout if you can see here here you have a cutout to put the antenna in my case the ELRS antenna because I'm using ELRS on all of my uh, quads and up here really smart you can put the Insta360 Go I think it's called yeah the small one if you have uh, for example I don't know uh, normal Vista normal camera not uh, the O3 and you want better quality or if you want to film in the same time vertical and horizontal so here you film the horizontal and here the vertical which is really smart and this closes like this and you will see we have uh, bands to close the cap to close the this door hatch or, or uh, yeah this part is the battery housing and you see you have the Enzo drones and here you have 3D printed in San Diego, California and this one you close it like this something like this it will be something like this but not uh, like, it will be prettier than this you will see when we build the frame I have three of course of these zip ties the arms the R's with lead here on the lead you can select the color by uh, by soldering on the you see here I, I guess it's red green and uh, B I'm not sure but you can change the color based on what uh, pad you solder what pad you bridge basically and here you put the motors solder them here and from here to the ESC we have four of these and in uh, every arm you see you have rubber band to close this one so basically it will be something like this and this rubber band you will put like this and here we have the other colors but if you order this you will get uh, one color of course or you can order the frame only and print your own color and this is the bottom plate 
with, which is really simple, really small, and has uh, insert nuts here. You will see how it will be uh, put all together. And this one is the O3 holder, which will come here, something like this. We have a keychain, which is really nice. I like it, thank you. And here, uh, I'm not sure if you get the props or it is just for our project, I'm not sure. And he sent me also the Emacs uh, motors. These are uh, 2207 1900 kV. They are 6S motors and they look really nice. I like the uh, glossy finish. And here you have two bags of hardware. So you have standoffs, extra rubber, uh, stack uh, screws, and uh, we will see some uh, uh, all the screws that we need in this build extra screws and this plate it's an aluminum uh, plate which looks really nice and it's very sturdy of course here you slide the arms and you put the down plate the bottom plate on top you will see how it will work and this one we have uh, a receiver mount we have for a full stack 30 by 30 and 20 by 20. First we need to install the O3 holder for the air unit and this one will come here and for this you have uh, M2 screws and bolts. You put it simply like this Now we are ready to attach the arms and for this we have the middle plate and we simply slide all the arms in the middle like this. And this plate will come like this but be careful don't put it like this I put it in purpose because here as you can see you have two uh, two openings this is in case you want to put a battery strap and uh, not use the battery holder this one so you have to put it like this it's not important if you put it like this or like this you have those screws which are m3 by 35 this is the stack screws and you have three more length of M3. You will take the middle ones. This, uh, those are M3 by 14. And you see here you have holes 20 by 20 holes and 30 by 30 holes. Depending on what, what stack you will mount, you will choose the long one for the stack and the short one for attaching uh, the frame. In our case, we will use the middle ones, the 20 by 20 to attach the stack. This means that those will come in the middle like this. And the short ones we will use in the screws and the bolts for the 30 by 30. We will start by attaching the short ones in our case. And if you are using a 30 by 30 stack, you will attach the long ones instead. So here. And we will put this here. Keep them uh, loose in this step. And now we will repeat for the other arms as well. Now we are ready to attach the stack screws. So keep them loose a little bit, please. We will tighten them after this uh, step, after those screws. Now you can start tightening them step by step until they are uh, fully tightened. Perfect, so we are finished uh, with this step. It is a true X uh, design, as you can see. This means that it is completely uh, X. 
which is really good for freestyle. Now we are ready to put the battery adapter, battery holder, and we need this part and a standoffs for taller screws they are m3 by 16 i think yeah millimeters four nuts m3 nuts and the antenna holder and the receiver holder the receiver holder here we will start by putting the screws in this side of the battery holder And now we need a long stand and the short stand. The long stand we will put here in the battery, in the O3 holder, the air unit holder. And the small one will come in front. We put the battery holder here and we put the drone like this. Now we tighten the screws, this one and this one in the stands and the back one, one as well. And here we put the short standoff. And now the, this part is a little bit tricky, but take your time. You have to bend this and put it upside down like this. You need something tall, a tall screwdriver like this. I have this one, but you can use taller one as well. I mean narrow because you need to screw the screw from here, from the opening. So let me do the, the easy one now and after we will do the other one. So here we put a long standoff as well. And here we have to tighten the screw from this side, like this. And we have a short standoff as well here. And it looks like this, which start to look really nice. It's different than what uh, we are used to. I mean, I didn't have something similar to this before. And what is really smart is that he left holes here so you can tighten the screws and get out the screws for the stack entirely if you need so without taking apart all the frame, which is really, really smart. I really like this touch. Now you have the this one you can attach. I attached it uh, from the beginning. And now you can uh, put the screws here. You have the short screws, these ones, for the motors. They are exactly for this frame. So it's really, really nice that he includes those screws as well. So he, because these are M3 by uh, 10, milli, uh, 10 millimeters, I think. You have those ones or in our case this one these are for attaching the receiver in our case the ELRS receiver this is a little bit bigger than this one so we will put the short one short holder here like this and the long one on the top like this and between them of course the receiver in our case the ERS receiver and on top we can put those bolts the nylon bolts like this next step is to put the upper part and the camera holder and this this is the back part and this is the front and it will sit something like this we can open it for ease of uh, mounting you have holes here which will come on top of the short screws here uh, short standoffs here so we will put it like this and you will push it down this is the antenna mount and you put it like this 
like this and you push that in and it stays perfect. Now you put it on the back standoffs and you push it all the way down like this and now we can simply close the lid like this and you push those and it's closed we you have the rubber if you don't have the rubber uh, don't forget to put it at the beginning because i don't know if uh, they come uh, put on the frame already from the beginning and you put it something like this I like uh, very much how it looks and it's really smart this TPU is really thick and it protects the camera very very well in my opinion and I don't think you get uh, jello here and here you have you put the antenna for the receiver and here if you can see you have uh, two things uh, coming out of the frame and you put the bot battery plug here like this and like this and you hold it with a zip tie from in the inside which is really smart and in this way you have the battery plug organized and I uh, talked to Enzo and he told me that he uses the thinner batteries instead of the fat ones because the fat ones uh, doesn't fit uh, easy. I have here two batteries, the 1300 battery and 1050 and they fit the really nice here like this and you put the battery plug like this which is really great and the one 300 fits as well without any problems like this or like this and you put the battery plug here i uh, think it's really nice this frame I can't wait to build it and fly it, uh, it has unique uh, design and I think I, uh, it's a very aerodynamic, you see you have here an opening for the air to flow and I think it's uh, really sturdy because of the aluminum plate here and here you see if you don't need this and you want to attach a battery strap you can I guess cut this here and in the other side and use the battery strap but uh, I like it here like this uh, more because it's easy to slide the batteries and take them off and of course here you have LEDs inside which will shine through the TPU so this is it guys for today I really enjoyed this build and I think it will look uh, very very good I can't wait uh, to start building uh, this uh, drone and I will take you uh, with me through all my uh, journey with uh, building this uh, beauty so thank you very much uh, guys for watching thank you Enzo for this and see you in the next one thank you thank you bye bye